So this is the seventh part of BCD arithmetic instructions. We will see the instruction A A as key adjust after addition. So the class of instructions we are going to see now uh, will leave unpacked BCD representation of a BCD digit. Okay. Uh, after uh, the instruction is issued. So uh, let's see uh, how A A works. So as usual, it doesn't take any operands. It just adjusts the number that is kept in L to unpack BCD representation and uh, it is issued after addition okay so this is how AAA works it will first check the lowest nibble present in L and if it is greater than 9 as usual it has to add 6 right uh, but here the thing to notice uh, when you add 6 and when there is a carry due to addition it is not passed to the next higher nibble here it is actually passed to the next higher byte okay or it means that it is passed to AH okay so what you are effectively doing in case of AAA is if the number of the current representation in the lowest nibble of AL is greater than 9 or if it is not a proper BCD digit 6 is added to that nibble and the result or the carry due to that is passed on to the next higher byte okay because in unpacked BCD representation only one digit is kept in a byte right then uh, finally uh, it is made sure that only one digit is represented in the lowest byte okay or effectively we are uh, doing this right uh, we are ending this pattern with a okay so let's see an example if we have such a representation in L and obviously this is a packed BCD representation and suppose uh, we are issuing AAA, uh, what we are supposed to get. Okay, so uh, if you see how AAA's logic works, it will check the lowest nibble, right? And uh, it identifies that it is a 10 over there. And it is not in unpacked BCD representation. It is not even in BCD representation. So what happens is, uh, 6 will be added to A, right? Then uh, we will have this result that is 16 right and what happens is uh, the zero will be kept in l okay or the entire byte will be having zero and as usual this one will be passed to the next higher byte which will be h okay so this single value 10 which actually occupied a nibble before a adjustment now takes over two bytes okay uh, for representing uh, 0 it takes 1 byte and for representing 1 it takes 1 byte so that's how AA works now let's see another case of AA here uh, we are going to perform adjustment of this value 7 actually 7 is a valid BC delete so what happens is it has to be just allowed to expand over a byte so what happens is uh, the current um, upper nibble is just set to 0 and this entire byte is made available to 7 so that's the only adjustment that, is, that has to be done over here okay so that will be done by this line right uh, the upper nibble will be made 0 and the lowest pattern is set as such okay so this is how AA works now let's see AAS so this is ASCII adjustment of AL after subtraction so here uh, the way of working is exactly the same but only thing is the adjustment is different here as we are having the result after subtraction we are going to subtract 6 and then instead of adding 1 over to the higher byte we will subtract 1 from the higher byte so that's the only difference between AAS and AAA okay and as usual both doesn't take operands they work on L and finally we will have the unpacked bcd value percent in l okay of the digit so let's see how this works so again the lowest nibble is taken and checked whether it is greater than 9 if it is greater than 9 it is not a proper bcd digit so as the result that was done before getting these bcd digits was a subtraction or the operation that was done before getting these bcd digits uh, was a subtraction we will actually subtract 6 from x or from the lowest nibble and then uh, we will subtract 1 from the highest byte of x okay and then 
uh, what we will do is uh, we will make sure that the lowest nib uh, nibble of KL is allowed to take up the entire space of L. Okay, and uh, that's how this operation works. So the only thing you have to note here is, uh, as usual, we will check for the lowest nibble, and we will ensure that whether it's a proper BCD date. And uh, while ensuring that, that is while performing the adjustment, uh, this subtraction instead of from the next nibble, it is done from the next byte. Okay, so when we are adjusting AL, subtraction of one is done from next higher byte, that is H. Okay, and at the end, right, uh, what is done is entire AL is just filled with the thing that was left in the lowest nibble of L. Okay, and suppose that uh, if it is an already valid digit present in the lowest nibble of L, what has to be done? What has to be done is we have to make sure that that particular D takes up the entire space of L. So that is done through this line. Okay, so uh, this is a example. So we have 0 to FF H in AX, right? So uh, what happens is uh, we have FF H in L and then when we perform ASCII adjust after subtraction, what happens is uh, in AH 1 will be percent and in AL 9 will be percent. Okay, obviously we are performing 15 minus 6, so we will be left with 9 and uh, in the highest, in the next byte, we will do subtraction by 1, right, so we will be left with 1 over here. Okay, so that is how AAS works.